All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakai Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwa that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, Let Them Enjoy Their Turkeys. <laughs> all right, it's going to be entitled, Let Them Enjoy Their Turkeys. Now, of course, everybody knows today is Thanksgiving. Uh, Jake is out there celebrating another year of a holiday that is definitely known as Indian Slaughter Day to a lot of people. And as we all know, this day came about from genocide. All right. Our brothers, which a lot of our people don't accept still, a lot of our people do not accept that um, Hispanics and Native Americans are our brothers and sisters. All right. And that's uh, according to the curses, all right? According to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it tells you that we were going to have an evil eye toward each other if we didn't follow the commandments, statutes, and laws, all right? And so this is what you're seeing today. And this is why a lot of Israelites can't accept the fact that Hispanics and Native Americans are Israelites. But the truth and the fact of the matter is we are all brothers and sisters, all right? We are all, we all come from the bloodline of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? And so um, the thing is, everybody is out celebrating this holiday today. And, you know, it's a feast day. You know, it's one of the days that Jake definitely looks forward to. You know, they got the, the main song that everybody plays <laughs> on the day of and building up to the day of the greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, ham, lamb, hog, dog. You know that song. <laughs> everybody plays that song and they get ready because this is a day where Jake gets to eat. All right. We all used to celebrate this day. We know how quote-unquote special or excited you know jake gets for this day because jake doesn't eat man all right so when the day comes around where they already know that no that they can actually go with somebody house and have a big ass dinner all right and then take a lot of leftovers home they look forward to that because every day every other day is different and you know everybody else is just living from paycheck to paycheck and then you know getting food off of their um link cards and everything like that and so jake looked forward to these days but this is a day where you're not supposed to be partaking in any events because this is a big ass deceitful party and this is why you see that's why i want to pull up these images right here because you know this is nothing but fun you, you got chickens i mean turkeys dabbing <laughs> you got turkeys dabbing and you know this is what jake will look look into jake will look at this as, as funny and they'll be like, yeah, you already know. That's how I'm going to be as soon as I fix my plan. I must be dabbing all over it. Because you already know how Jake get down when it's time to eat, man. When it's time to eat. And, you know, when Jake gets that first bite, man. You know, we, we start doing dances. And we start crib walking and moonwalking. <laughs> and all kind of stuff. You know, shit. You know, I do that shit too. You know, but ain't nothing wrong with that. That's just, just because we the salt of the earth. So, you know, uh, whenever we enjoy things we let it be known that we actually enjoy it and we uh through the spirit appreciate it all right but at the same time you know it, it's time to grow up the scriptures tell you about um uh when i was a child i did things as a child but when i became a, a man i put away childish things you know roughly paraphrasing this is the thing that's very childish you know all right you know being partaking in this day it's it's it should be very easy to, for you to just be like, you know what, nah, this is some bullshit. You got Esau, you know, so-called white man. You got certain Edomites out there that's putting out videos letting you know how pagan and how evil this day is, all right? And still, you know, at the end of the day, Jake just don't want to be different. They do not want to be different, all right? And so this is why you got all of these, you know, Jake looked forward to this, you know? And then they've been seduced by the enemy as well man all right they've been seduced by this because jake will come up with their own um excuses of why they want to partake in this holiday they'll say they want to do it for the kids they'll say well this is the only time of the year where i know all of my family is going to be off so i'm not going to celebrate it in that sense but at the end of the day you're still celebrating it on this day so you're celebrating the white man's holiday and it's bullshit all right so you're supposed to stay away from it so we're gonna go ahead and grab the scriptures man and show you what the Lord thinks about this holiday, man. So this is Amos chapter 5, verse 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right. 
the day of the Lord is going to be darkness and not light. And um, that day is going to be the day of judgment. All right. The day where Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gets rid of two thirds of his own people and these heathen nations and get ready to bring in his rulership, which is the kingdom of heaven. All right. So verse 19, it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. This is going to be Jake when judgment comes. They're going to go from situation to situation and they're going to be thinking that they're in good case because they're getting away from these dangerous situations that the Most High is putting them in. But eventually the Most High is going to get them. That's why it says, and lean his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. The Most High is going to get you no matter what because two thirds of our people have been reserved for punishment, for partaking in days like today. Because the thing is, a lot of our people don't look at celebrating a day like this as if it's going to get them killed. All right. They don't think like that. They just be like, look, man, you know, the God is merciful. It's OK. You know, they supposed to accept me for who I am, so forth and so on. But like the scriptures say, the heart is deceitful. You can't be out here doing what you want. You got to do what you're supposed to do by the Lord. All right. So verse 20, it says, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? even very dark and no brightness in it. It says, I hate, I despise your feast days and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies, all right? The Most High is not down with any of these holidays that's out here today. He does not care about Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, 4th of July, Valentine's Day, your birthday, so forth and so on. These are feast days, days where you go out, you eat, you make a lot of food, you get people together, you sing songs, get married, you know, by drinking, all kind, uh, all of those things, man. You're having a good time. The Most High hates these days because these days represent death, evil, and destruction, all right, and lies. Verse 22, it says, Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take down away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials, all right? And one of the main days where songs are represented is definitely Christmas, okay? Everybody knows there's millions, there's hundreds, thousands of songs that are out there for Christmas, man, all right? That was one, that's the main holiday where they flood you with that spirit, that, that jolly spirit, all right? But the Most High is not down with those songs, all right? That's why it says right here in verse 24, it says, But let judgment run down as waters. And righteousness as a mighty stream when you think about a waterfall when you think about turning on the shower or the sink the water that's continually uh, flows until you turn it off so that's how the most high is going to allow judgment to run down on two-thirds of our own people he's going to allow esau his sword to come down unto you until he feels like it's time to turn the knob off all right he's going to let esau get wild on two-thirds of our own people and this is why we separate ourselves from this world, all right? Because the thing is, we see what's going on behind the scenes. And now the thing is, it's not even a lot of things that's going on behind the scenes no more. It's just out here in front of our faces. Just like the things that's going on between uh, Israel and Gaza, Russia and Ukraine. Now there's um, uh, reports of terrorist attacks in uh, New York. And this is what's going on in the world right now. Let's get Matthew 24 real quick. We're going to get Matthew 24, and we're going to go to verse 4. And it says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows, all right? So this is what's going on right now, right before our very eyes. Like I said, there's reports of, I believe it was terrorist, terrorist attacks in New York and I think Canada. I, I forget. I forget what the second uh, city was. But um, that happened either yesterday or the day before. And like I said, we all seen the videos. If you haven't seen the videos on Gaza with the people that's getting bombed in these hospitals, the graphic videos, look them up, man. The most eyes having things happen in this earth. We're seeing these prophecies unfold right before our very eyes. Nations going against nation. Now Russia is talking about um, they need to get involved and help out Gaza. 
all right because ultimately that ezekiel 38 is going to come to pass man that's what we living in right now russia is going to get involved and realize that america the west is the main enemy and they're going to be the main ones to shoot missiles over here and destroy this place so this is what we're thinking about we're not thinking about these these so-called joyful times like today all right we're thinking about the destruction that yeah how about shim yahweh shai is getting ready to bring upon this earth because we're watching the prophecies unfold we're seeing the people go through these dramatic times these uh these hellish times all right we're seeing people literally crying and and, and uh become angry and stand up and protest and all of these different things we're seeing it you know we seeing not even on the news we seeing it in person it's like my life for myself go downtown in chicago you seeing all, all, you know, all the palestinians and all of them down you know down there protesting the sticks in their hands and all of these different things it's going down man we are literally at the end and this is why we got to keep this mindset right here in first john chapter 2 and we're going to verse 15 and you see the caption right here it says do not love the world it says love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him if you love anything that's in this world you do not love yahweh bashem yahweh shot because we just read earlier that he hates these feast days that's one of the things that's in this world when you are born into this world they tell you to celebrate these holidays get together with family be thankful for whatever it is on this day and then you know go on and do what you uh whatever you want to do but the scriptures right here say love not the world so you're not supposed to love the things that are in this all right you're supposed to separate yourself from them for uh right here in verse 16 it says for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh because that's all it is it's just your flesh um attending to these days because like i said this is a day that you look forward to because you get to just eat 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 get drunk get drunk get drunk and you off work and a lot of people get paid for the holidays so this is a day that you look forward to your flesh is looking forward to celebrating this day but you got to separate yourself from this and it says in the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passes away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever this world is getting ready to pass away according to second andrew 6 and 9 it says esau is the end of the world and jacob is the beginning of it that followeth all right we're at the end of this rulership this age so now that we know that this world is getting ready to pass away we're supposed to be doing the bidding of yahweh bashem yahweh shai repenting and being sorrowful and sighing and crying for all of the abominations that have been done thereof because we do feel bad for everything that we have done before we came into this truth we feel bad for everything we have done while we were in this truth and ultimately we just want forgiveness for all everything that we have ever done from this life our past lives all of it because when shit hit the fan we do not want to get caught out here we want to be saved and be blameless all right Verse 18, it says, Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. We are in the last times. Antichrist is anybody that's against the Bible. And when I say against the Bible, anybody that's not for this truth, all right, they are Antichrist. Antichrist is not just one person, it's not Satan. You know, it's not the Illuminati, so forth and so on. Antichrist are people who just are not for these scriptures, man. If you're not for following the commandments, statutes, and laws, and actually living this word, and actually eating this whole roll, you are Antichrist, point blank, period. And this is how we know that we are in the last days. Because this world is full of that. Like I said, you go to your family members, your friends, or whoever, you tell them that you're going off, you're, you're wrong for celebrating this day, they're going to become your enemies. That's why it says in Galatians, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah, we have enemies. Our own blood is our, our enemies. All right, people that we thought would be cool with us forever have become our enemies because we told them the truth. And the reason being is because they love the world. They love the things that's presented to them and they don't want to let it go. So guess what? The most I got to let them go because they're in the way. Verse 19, it says, then went out from us, but they were not of us. But if they have been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out and that they might be manifest that they were not all of us. 
but you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things, all right? We have the Holy Spirit upon us. That's why we can separate ourselves from this world and we understand the evil that comes along with this world and we understand the judgment that comes along with being a part of this world because the Most High has given us the gift of opening our eyes and our ears to understand this truth. So at the end of the day, we all for these scriptures. We not for anything else, man. Let's get one last scripture and we'll close it out. We'll get Revelation 22 and 10 because, you know, the name of this video is let them enjoy their turkeys. Let them enjoy eating. Let them enjoy their, their turkeys, their, their pumpkin pies, you know, their casseroles, whatever, their sweet potatoes, macaroni and cheese. Let them enjoy all of that because they don't realize that being a part of this is going to get them a wicked reward. That's why it says right here, Revelation 22 and 10. And it says, and he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. We are in the spirit of prophecy. All right, the time is at hand. What time is that? The Lord returning, World War III, the RFID chip, famine, martial law, all of those things are getting ready to happen, which is judgment from the Lord. All right, that's why I said, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. We are occupied with what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is getting ready to do on this earth. Verse 11, it says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So when you see people go out here and celebrate days like today, let them do it. Don't push it down their throats, man. And, you know, we not in that time no more. You know, when you first got, came into this truth, yeah, you were anxious and eager to tell people like, yeah, this is what this is about. You tell people you need to stop doing this, stop doing that. And you, they still didn't listen. And now here it is, fast forward years later, they still not listening. All right, the truth is out here, man. No matter, you know, what, what group you listen to, the one main thing that a lot of these groups got in common is they do teach Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that they are the Israelites. But they do go off as far as different doctrines are concerned, as far as, you know, what the MOTB is, people not believing in the New Testament, so forth and so on. So that's why it's very important that you pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for the correct understanding. So then that way, that won't be one of the things that probably gets you kicked off of being part of the elect. Even though through the spirit, you are never going to be part of the elect anyway if you don't make it. But we don't know who's going to make it. So this is why it's very important for you to take this truth seriously and make sure that you take these scriptures in and bring them out the right way. All right. So like I said, when you see people doing what they're doing, just like the things that's going on today, don't say nothing, man. Everybody has these mini computers in their pocket. Everybody has the gift of going into their pockets, pull out their phone, look up information and see what the truth is. It's all over the place, man. We upload videos daily. We go out to the highways and the byways. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter, Instagram, so forth and so on. YouTube is everywhere. So it's no excuse. It's no excuse. Verse 12, it says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right? So that's what I was saying earlier. Earlier, a lot of people are either going to receive a righteous reward or they're going to receive a wicked reward. All right, the righteous reward is going to be the elect, starting with the 144,000 all the way down to the great multitude. They're going to be saved. They're going to get beamed up in the chariots. They're going to receive the new bodies. The 144,000 is going to receive the crowns. And we're going to be the first fruits of the kingdom. We're going to be the first ones, Lord willing, to actually see new life unfold before our very eyes. We're going to see the beauty of everything starting from the beginning. That's going to be the righteous reward. The wicked reward that goes to two thirds, all right, in these heathen nations, they're going to get caught out here in martial law. They're going to get caught out here in the nuclear destruction. They're going to get caught out here with the wild beasts. You know, once the missiles hit, a lot of tsunamis and other earthquakes are going to happen. Volcanoes are going to erupt. They're going to get caught out there in that. That's what their reward is going to be because they chose to have fun and be merry and just pretty much do whatever they want to do right now instead of going through that straight gate and suffering until the Lord returns, all right? So that's why we got to stay strong with what we have, all right? Yahweh Shai said himself, let no man take your crown. You got to be strong and separate yourself because, you know, just like for myself, I, you know, when I was in the world, I did like holidays. 
I look forward to, you know, uh, Thanksgiving and everything like that. I definitely look forward to Christmas when it came around. That was my favorite holiday. You know, I like the feel of giving out gifts and everything like that. But once you learn the history behind it, once you and you learn uh, what the truth of the matter is, you got to you got to accept it and be like, you know what? Damn, this is wicked. And you got to let that shit go. No matter how much you love, whatever it is that you love when you're in the world, you got to say no. And the thing is, man, you know, a lot of people cleave, um, hang on to these holidays because it give them, gives them so-called good feelings. It gives them uh, a bright, brighter emotions. You know, this is a time of year where people don't really have to worry about every anything. You know, people can be off work, they get paid, they can have fun, and they can just get some type of relief from this life that they got to live every day, man. We're going to receive that feeling on even a greater level in the kingdom. When we get ready to celebrate our holy days, all right, not only are we going to celebrate those holy days, but we're actually going to celebrate it and it's going to mean something. Just like when the Passover come around and you got to eat those bitter herbs, it gives you a sense of what we went through before the Mosai took us out of it, all right? And then the new holy day, the day where we're going to celebrate of uh, the destruction of America and then the salvation that we received from that. All right, when we when that holy day come around, that's going to be one of the greatest days that we're going to be looking forward to. You just got to hold on tight, man. That's all you got to do. Everything that we lost on this side, the most side is going to give it back to us on the other side. That's what Yahweh Shai said. He said, uh, the things that you have lost, those things shall be added unto you. All you got to do is have faith and believe that that is going to happen. And it is going to happen. And the reason being is because we see in the scriptures come to life. All right. So verse 13, it says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. All right, I, uh, uh, all right, so like you. So read it again. It says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. All right, so this is what we're doing. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. We're keeping the faith. Because as long as we do that, we'll enter in into the tree of life. We'll have everlasting life. All right. The most High get us to the new body. So get us up out of here. And we can finally be at peace in the kingdom. So just remember that, man. Just remember that. Just hold on tight. Don't let things like this get you to the point where demons get in your head. And then you start seeing things happen at your job where they're giving out you know uh food every day and they, people inviting people over and all these different things and you just like well i'm not going to attend to it don't let those demons get into your head where you just like man people gonna be talking about me and this and that whatever man let them enjoy their turkeys <laughs> let them enjoy their turkeys let them enjoy this man all right because these things are going to fail them at the end they're going to realize that we were telling the truth and they're going to realize that man all i had to do was just say no all i had to do was just let let these things go and i would have been all right but as the saying goes they're gonna have to learn the hard way all right so it is what it is so let's hold on tight man we almost out of here next year may be the year or the year after but we know that we close because this is a lot of things going on in the world right now all right so just hold on tight and keep praying to yahweh by shum yahweh shai so I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwat that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rod says, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.